Hey guys, Jimmy here. Uh, so today I'm just going to be sharing some code cards with you guys. I'm going to be um, maybe uh, sharing a video here of an opening I did recently. Uh, spoiler alert, it's not a good opening. It was pretty bad. Um, so I'll share that video soon. But otherwise, uh, here are some code cards for this evening here. We have a three-pack Garbador. During this, also, I want to mention a reminder. Oh, wow. Team Up Build and Battle Box. That's a good one. So if you're looking for a Jirachi, I believe that's a, a good shot there. Um, yeah, there are some good codes tonight. All right. So I do want to mention that, yes, I am doing a giveaway. Uh, once we hit 200 subscribers, I will be giving away those PSA cards that I featured in a video. I will link uh, that giveaway video up at the top of the screen. Uh, so please do enter to anybody who is new. Uh, and I do appreciate everybody's support. And I actually really appreciate all the genuine responses that I'd had agreeing that Beckett is better. Because I do truly believe that. Um, I think that they... The fact that they even have the subgrades tells you that they have some kind of structure... Um, and not only that, but it helps to know what they're looking for when I choose cards that I want to be graded. Like, if I truly think a card is, you know, worthy of a 10, and I really, really, really do think that, I'm going to send it to Beckett in order to try to attain the black label. Like, if the centering is off, you can send it to PSA, and you can, you can hope for the best. But I do think Beckett is uh, more consistent, because the truly the two cards that I've gotten pristine tens on but not the black label they marked off half of a grade for centering and i do believe that that was accurate so i've never doubted anything they've done um so i um i, I do appreciate your guys's input on that but um so i'll link that giveaway and i hope you guys enjoyed those code cards and i'll see you soon for another video have a good one